Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen the paragraph about the animation using the transition. We have seen this paragraph, right? So not only for the paragraph, we can apply the transition. We can also apply the animation also. So we can also apply the animation. So instead of applying this transition thing, we can also apply the uh, animation. That means the uh, keyframes also we can apply. Let's see how we can apply this keyframes animations in this video. Now, what I will be trying to do is I am trying to create a new file animate paragraph. Okay. So animate paragraph dot view. So this is the new file. So let's rename this one. Animate paragraph. This one. So now we here I will be having a template. Okay, here I will be having a template. Now let's try to add it here before adding the code in the animate paragraph. Import animate animate paragraph from dot slash components okay slash animate paragraph dot view okay now what i will try to do is so i will try to add this animate paragraph here in the components the same scenario what i will try to do is i will try to like this and i will try to do animate paragraph i can add it like this okay now let's go to animate paragraph here let's I try to add the text here i will try to write the script okay export default same logic so however whatever we have written in the previous thing i will write 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 the same logic view now here i will try to add the p tag and let's try to take the code from here so we'll be having here the lorem ipsum code right so let's try to add this one the same code so the same example i am telling you so here i can take this p tag and here i can write do and i can have a button so that is toggle okay so toggle oh all the time i will write spelling mistake okay so class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary i can use and i can write the event click dot prevent same logic on toggle okay so this is the basic thing and here i can write vi and if is equal to show paragraph okay this is the thing now let's go to the logic section so we'll be having the data and here i will be having the return and here i can write show oh sorry return it will be taking object right show paragraph i can have the show paragraph false okay and here i can write methods the methods what i need to implement on toggle so the method what i need to implement is the toggle and here we need to toggle that means show paragraph true becomes false and false becomes true so by using like this the condition this is the basic example now let's try to see the output how we are getting the output so if i try to refresh this one okay so first time we are not able to see okay sign so we will do it reverse right uh, true first we will show the data and now see we are able to see the toggling effect so sorry uh, the toggling effect we are able to see but there is no animation let's try to add the animation using the keyframes animation right now we will apply the keyframe animation now what we will try to do here i will try to add transition okay so now here i can write transition now this transition let's go here and add the style and here what i can do scope okay so at the rate keyframes i can implement the keyframes animate hyphen para okay the name whatever name you want you can give it so now zero percent so for the zero percent what i will try to do is i will try to make transform okay so transform to translate x x i will move to something like zero pixel let's say let's see let's try to implement some some logic so we will move the shaky effect okay so i can apply 25 percent okay 25 percent so it should has to move 20 pixel this side or otherwise 40 pixel we will apply the 40 pixel or otherwise 30 pixel will apply okay whatever thing you want you can apply so now 25 percent exactly 50 percent so in the 50 percent what i will try to do here I, need, I will try to apply minus 30 pixels so that means this side it will move and here in the 75 percent what i will try to do 30 pixels the, again this this side it will move and here what oh 75 percent okay now here 
after completing the uh, what i can say uh, 100% 100% so it should be stayed it should stay 0 pixel okay so this is a just animation i have written so 0% so shaky effect it has to come now what i need to do i need to apply this keyframes animation right so now there is no need for us to add this enter from or uh, enter to so just what we need is v hyphen enter hyphen active so this is the only class what we need and here what i can do uh, what i can do animation okay i can apply the animation the name of the animation animate para okay this is the name of the animation and one second it should apply okay so this is the animation thing so let's try to see so the same animation what we will apply we will apply it for the v hyphen leave hyphen active also same thing okay so there is no need for us to apply the from and to so the only the interactive and leave active is the only only thing which we need for the animation so animations and all those things it will be taken care by the keyframes now let's try to see the output if i try to refresh this one okay now if i click here see it has moved and it has went away if i click here it has moved it has went away but if you see here it is moving and it is immediately disappearing so let's try to shade it uh, slowly disappearing so what i can do here so opacity okay zero so i will go on increase okay opacity 0 0.25 so this depends on your creativity these are animations okay opacity 0 0.5 i can give opacity 0 0.75 so 0 to 1 it will be so opacity it should be 1 opacity it should be 1 now let's try to see the output how it will appear okay animation thing one second it has applied right so now if i try to see here if i refresh this one now if i click here see it has appeared but but see when we are leaving it is doing some jiggling effect if you see here so slowly it has to fade out so it is fading out and it is coming again so what we need to do is we need to reverse this animation when we are leaving okay when we when we need so 100 percent should has to become zero like this the, the reverse action it has to perform when it is leaving so enter it has to approve it has to done it has to do from top to bottom when leaving it has to approve it has to do from opacity 1 to 0 it has to become so what we can do is here we can apply one condition one 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 option that is reverse so we can reverse this one so that means 100 will become 0 25 50 75 100 it will become so from reverse direction it will execute enter from so from top to bottom it will execute let's try to see the output here if i refresh this one now if i click here see slowly it fade out so if i click here see slowly it came slowly it is fading out and slowly it is coming okay so this is how we can we can do the uh, animations through the keyframes also okay hope you understood this uh, transition wrapper component so transition wrapper component is up it will be used only when we are dynamically inserting or up, uh, updating or removing from the DOM. So, we will, we will be applying this transition component. And these are the classes what it will have for the transition component. Okay. So, this is about the animations in the using the transition component using keyframes. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.